In this video, I'm talking about Mythbusters star Adam Savage and his recent video about his hearing loss. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Adam Savage, the well-known TV personality from the TV show Mythbusters on Discovery Channel, recently released a video about his hearing loss that he posted on his YouTube channel, Adam Savage Tested, which I will link in the description of this video. I wanted to review his video to give you some additional insight into his hearing loss, into his hearing aids, and into his perspective on hearing treatment. So let's go ahead and get right to it. The first thing Adam talks about is the cause of his hearing loss, which isn't a traditional age-related hearing loss or noise-induced hearing loss. He actually mentions that he had a congenital birth defect that gave him hearing loss across the board. This likely means that he has a loss in the low, mid, and high frequency ranges. He doesn't mention the severity of his hearing loss, but I would suspect that it is in the moderate to moderate severe range. His congenital middle ear condition required him to undergo ossicular chain reconstruction on his left ear multiple times, where a surgeon basically had to reconstruct the malleus, incus, and stapes bones in his middle ear, which typically means that they implanted a prosthetic to replace these bones. He also mentioned that he had to have the eardrum replaced on his left side as well. The good news is, is that following the surgeries, his left ear is now his better hearing ear. Despite the surgeries, he still has a hearing loss in both ears and has been wearing hearing aids for over 10 years to treat the loss. I must say, he is quite animated about the benefit he is receiving from his hearing aids, and rightfully so, because it sounds like they actually gave him his life back and mentions that he is now hearing things that he didn't even realize he was missing. Now, the hearing aids that he actually wears are the Evoke Fusion 2 hearing aids from Widex. I actually have a full video review of these specific hearing aids on my channel as well, and I will also link that video in the description. But the one aspect that I want to pause on for a second is the image that he shows of one of his devices. Since he has a flat hearing loss, or perhaps even slightly more hearing loss in the low frequencies versus the mids and highs, he needs to use a type of dome that can trap all the low frequency bass sounds inside of his ear canal so he can actually perceive them. If he had more open fit domes that have vents on them that don't completely close off his ear canal, then he would likely receive less benefit from whatever devices he decided to wear. This is a very important component when treating hearing losses like Adam's. All right, now onto some of the specific features of his Evoke Fusion 2 hearing aids from Widex. The first thing being better sound quality and an increased frequency response with his newer devices, which he believes give him better music appreciation as well. The input dynamic range is definitely a strength of Widex and really is a good option for music lovers. He also specifically mentions that he upgrades his technology every four to five years, and each time he does, he gets better performance from the newer devices. The next thing he mentions is the SoundSense Learn feature, which lets him customize his hearing aid programming using machine learning. Basically, he gets to do paired comparisons so his hearing aids start to learn how to customize his programming to his preferences in that particular environment. The third thing that he mentions is the ability to stream audio directly into his hearing aids from his iPhone, which gives him the ability to stream phone calls, audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube videos, and basically any other type of media that has sound. On a side note, I would like to mention just how impressed I am with how quickly he can insert his hearing aids. Unless they sped this part up in post-production of the video, he may very well be the single fastest person at inserting hearing aids that I have ever seen. The last thing that stands out is that he mentions the stigma surrounding the use of hearing aids. Basically this idea that people don't want to get hearing aids because it will make them look different or feel different. He basically says that no one who ever put in hearing aids thought to themselves that it was a mistake. It just doesn't happen. Basically alluding to the idea that if you have hearing loss and you try hearing aids, that it will be such a transformational experience that you would never want to give them up again. Adam goes on to say that hearing aids have improved every aspect of his life and he encourages everyone who has difficulty hearing to see an audiologist to get tested. While his video was sponsored, Adam Savage actually is a user of Widex hearing aids, basically making him an extremely credible celebrity endorser. And I just want to finish by saying, Adam, thank you so much for helping spread awareness about hearing loss and giving individuals with hearing loss a great role model to look up to. 
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.